Hi guys, welcome back to more episodes of The X-Files. We're finally here, we're at the end of season 8. So, um, I'm actually going to watch both parts of this tonight. Unfortunately, you won't get it both the same day. It's just the way the schedule works out, sorry. Um, but what I'm doing more than anything is giving you a heads up that this is a two-part season finale. Um, I'm fully expecting, whatever the story I may be, I have no idea, but it's got to include the current state of play i.e Mulder's out the FBI Scully's about to drop a sprog and Doggett has pretty much left his own devices and has the entire department of the X-Files resting on his shoulders um so with that said let's go find out what happens just before I do if you are enjoying this and you want to see more of the X-Files please don't forget to sub down here to the channel and we will go and find out what the two-part season finale is this is part one episode 20 of season eight they called me back into the fbi to poke holes in my story as we knew they would never give up on a miracle the white tornado thank you lizzie no problem <laughs> she's up to no good Really? Why are you doing that? What's that gonna do? I tried to think. Zeus genetics. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are or how you got in here, I've but we don't allow since. visitors. I won't be visiting long. Verify that what's true. That your work's been fruitful. I can see that it has by the abomination you're holding in your hands. Uh -huh. Holy shit. Agent Mulder. Yeah, you can drop the agent, Agent Doggett. It's just plain old Fox Mulder now. It is now. Right. Which burned down last night in what firefighters characterize as an accelerated blaze. I swear Scully believed they were doing tests on women, putting alien babies in them or something that's like right. that against their will. Well, never completely explained. I think that's the idea, to cover up the kind of research that was going on there. That's why I came to talk to you. He put you onto this, didn't he? What the hell are you doing, John? You don't have to answer to him. He's out of the bureau. They just told me that they contacted everyone at Zeus Genetics, except for one man, a Dr. Lev, a founder and head of clinical research. Pissing people off comes with the territory, Agent Target. It's part of working on the X-Files. Indeed. At the risk of pissing you off, I think I've wasted about enough on my weekend. Agent Scully's obstetrician through the first two-thirds of her pregnancy. Yeah. And you think he burned down this clinic? I don't know, but if I'm the agent assigned to the X-Files, I sure as hell would want to ask him. It's Saturday anyway, right? I'm just having a look around. Who are you? Me? Hey. Yes, Hello. you, sir. What do you think you're doing in this office? What are you office? here doing on a Saturday? I'm in the middle of a very delicate medical procedure. And whatever you want, you don't just come barging in here. I don't well? care who you are. No nurse, it's no medical nothing. Procedure. Did it have anything to do with this? I mean, that just shouldn't be allowed. Why don't you tell us what we're looking at here, Dr. Parente? Close friend and colleague is missing. Much of my life's work has been destroyed. How about you explain what you are doing? What these things are? They are what we are all working so hard to prevent. Work that you would destroy to cover up such allegations? Where do you get these ideas? From a friend of mine, a former patient of yours, Dana Scully. I'd say this man's suitably pissed off. Why don't we let him get back to work? Let's go, Mona. Oh, man, what are these tablets she swapped out here? I mean, why would, why would you give it a second thought, would you? I'm about to leave. Your dinner's in the oven. And I just wanted to say that I hope this is working out. I know it's important to your mom. Probably a matter of hours. How's it going? Uh, you look unsure. No, I think she trusts me. Anything else? Unidentifiable biological material fused with laboratory grade silica. I know what you're thinking. There's lots here that's unidentifiable. Doesn't mean it's alien. Let's ask Dr. Perenni if it's okay with Agent Crane. 
packing, Dr. Parenti? Oh, I'm Next. sorry. This, this office is closed. You're dead. Dr. Parenti! carry a weapon? I would. Ah, shit. Right there! Don't move! Oh. What do you do with that information? You just shot him twice, point blank, in the chest. And he just fucked off. Asked me the kid was whacked out on something. No, it was. it's you not drugs. Asked me the kid isn't a kid. Look at his strength, the way he took those slugs. I've seen plenty of guys whacked out on chemicals keep on coming. Well, no. then you're ignoring who Billy Miles is. Oh, I know. What you call aliens bleed green. green, right? Well, Billy Miles is a whole new deal. Same thing happened to you. Same mm -hmm. thing would have happened to me if I'd been left alone. Yeah, but Scully. If Scully hadn't treated me. One of those doctors was your doctor. Hold on. Listen, Scully, I, I'm sorry, but I just need to know that this baby of yours is going to be Yeah, okay. he's concerned. My baby is fine. It's okay. I've got plenty to do. Excuse me. It's okay. That's that's all I'm trying to do. Is just make sure nothing happens to you. That this baby you're carrying is born without any surprises. I would have thought whatever that she swapped the tablets out with would have started to take her effect by now. I don't know what it is she's given her. Where are you? I'm at her apartment. She's with her two partners. They're asking all the right questions. You have to keep a cool head. Who are you? Fuck. Did he just slap his head off? <laughs> what the hell? Passerby saw the door of the building wide open. Name of the victim, flagged a previous FBI investigation. Duffy Askell. Yeah. An illegal medical facility for the purpose of human cloning. We found prenatal records here. A Dr. Lev and a Dr. Prenny working with this Duffy Haskell, monitoring Scully's pregnancy. Some business we need to clear up, personal business, about Scully's baby, about who the father is. Yeah, I hear there's a pool running down at the FBI. But if you're asking me how a woman who was diagnosed as barren and unable to conceive is about to give birth in a couple yeah, of days, no. that's an answer I can't honestly give. Yes. I've got Skinner with me. It's it's not something that can really wait. What? That's well, about your pregnancy. Uh, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing with me? Who are you? Okay. Give us some answers, please. Because... I have an indication. I want you to know you can stop worrying, Dana. Denise Crosby. Your baby is fine. Yeah. So what were they? Everything is absolutely as it should be. I'm so sorry, Dana. It just feels for Scully. It's just, it's a, an, a complete violation. How is she? She's fine. According to a doctor, apparently it was a false alarm. Hmm. For the past 10 years, I've been working as a research scientist trying to produce human clones. We were surprisingly successful with a clone from a human egg and alien DNA. DNA that the government had since 1947. Birthed by human mothers desperate to conceive. They didn't live more than a couple of days, but tissue and stem cells is what we were after for other experiments. We were trying to protect her. What did you do to her? No. You don't understand. Tell me what's wrong with her. Listen to her. What's she saying? There's nothing wrong with her. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The child she is carrying is very special. See, this is the thing here. You know, with everything that's happened and everything that Scully's gone through and in particular Mulder's gone through, He's expecting what we're all expecting, what I was expecting until I started to read into it a bit more, is 
you're expecting, you know, you've heard that these experiments that continue with the human cloning and paid for by government and are now all dead. We know who that is. You're expecting more conspiracy. You're expecting more cover up, more using you just as a host for their own ill gotten gains to protect themselves, even though they're all gone, but the work continued. It's why dog is like, no, listen, it's not what you think you're expecting it because it's all it's ever been. This guy Billy Miles called in from a Dr. Parenti's office. He wants to give himself up. Why? What's wrong? You here alone? Yes, my mom just went to- Whatever you can't get elsewhere, just throw it together. It's you who's in danger now, Scully. From who? Mulder, from what? I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about anything. I just know I gotta get you out of here. No, Mulder, look, I can't take this. And I'm gonna do everything I can to protect it. Is he expecting that they're going to want to take it from her? Because it's the only successful one. It's John Doggett. I'm at Dr. Parente's office. Billy Miles called us, looking to turn himself in. Only he ain't here. And here it comes. At least he got her out of there. Need to move fast. Go, go, go. Oh crap. I wasn't expecting him to just be blocked in. Has he done that? Oh! oh. <laughs> we haven't got much time. Get in. You kidding me? <clears throat> he was the one who was trying to convince Skinner to make sure that Scotty's baby doesn't come to term. Must be for different reasons. I am so confused. Tell us about Billy Miles. There are others just like him. They're virtually unstoppable. Yeah. What do they want? They want to knock out any and all attempts by us to survive the final days. So what, they're wandering around among us? Looking for trouble? Some kind of alien lawman? You saw what they did to those doctors. What about Scully? What do they want with her? Yeah, why did you want her to not come to town? Why? They didn't even know about it. I don't know exactly how they could have found out just how, how important it is. Born of a barren mother's barren womb. It's an X-Files baby, all right. But it could somehow be greater than them. Something... Bigger than them. More human than human. A higher power. I don't believe this crap. I don't believe you're all standing around here listening to it either when you know this man's a liar worse than that. You believe what you want. She may never even make it out of this building. Why don't you just shut up? Agent Doggett. Agent Doggett, can you hear oh. me? I'm in a cab on my way from the airport. I'll meet you down in the parking garage. I have a car there waiting for you. Where are we going? I'll tell you when you get here. Go, get out of here. I'm guessing I don't have time to go to the little girl's room? Great. We could do with the Terminator right now. <laughs> Mulder! Skinner! He's in the garage! Go back! Go back! He did say, you're lucky if you get out of this building. He's on the stairs coming up. This <sighs> guy's been tossed around by a fucking bowling ball here. Drive safely. I can't remember her name. Oh, Christ, watch out, Skinner. Is he gonna have to jump? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jump. Oh, hang on. That's gonna break his fall. Go! Go! That was perfect. That was perfect. It was all planned. Wow. That was a nice one. Oh, f are you kidding me? So he knows. Right, okay, part one. I'm not going to give too much yet. We'll do it at the end of part two, which is coming up next, obviously. Um, 
They're going to have to get Scully completely out of the sea, miles away from nowhere in the middle of a small town or something. I say this is going to have to be a natural birth. No doctors, no nurses, no nothing. But unfortunately, the, the other guy is now aware. I thought it was just Billy that was here. Um, and I thought the garbage truck was just coincidence and it wasn't. Crycheck always, he's so manipulative because he mixes lies with truth and you never know where the line is for, it, for, sorry, for either one of them. Um, I don't believe there is anything wrong with the Scully's baby, but the immaculate conception type pregnancy that this appears to be they now are saying is another higher power i mean no wonder that the aliens are frightened of it because they don't know what the implications are and what this represents but i'm assuming that this with what the, the woman who was in the end given a vitamin need a shop whatever her name is <laughs> uh is a result of the work that she said that she'd been working on. And it's the infusion of a human. And some of the alien DNA, not for it to come out like an alien baby, but for it to have no afflictions that afflicts all of our humans, you know, every disease and, and virus and everything that we're susceptible to. So by that reckoning, you know, the black oil or anything or any planned takeover that they have ready and prepared won't work not on this child scully's baby has become the ultimate damn x file and so is she and it's the last thing that she wants and i understand Mulder just wanting to protect her but i think it's he's making sure that his baby stays safe but he's he's protecting the two of them but he's really protecting scully from it not being taken from her that's the way i see it anyway right i'm gonna leave it there because we're right in the middle of the storyline uh if you want to make sure you see part two don't forget to hit the subscribe to the channel down here and you'll know when it will release all of the episodes are of course are available earlier than that over on patreon if you want to watch them over there uh link will be in the description as always i will see you for the actual season finale next which is episode 21 of season eight till then thank you very much for watching don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. By means, post your comments down below. Let me know where you would put this right now. Because that's the first time from my recollection that he's now talking about another higher power. Whoever that may be. Because I've always seen in this that everything that's attributed to the religious side of things. Or there being a god or somebody that's created all of this. Is more than likely been them. We'll see. I'll see you for the first season finale. Take care. Don't.